Hello and welcome back to another game. Arena 1v1 between Translo in green as the Khmer and Skogo playing in yellow as the Slavs. Slavs with strong civilization on Arena. Khmer, yeah, not too good, not too bad, I guess. So in this matchup, hopefully, it's going to be interesting. You can see the Translo playing on 2k2 class level, Skogo close to 2k2. So the skill probably not so far apart. We're going to find out soon. And start with the maps, I guess. Let's go for Translo first with the Khmer, with the. Uh, less favorite civilization, second and third gold. Safe in the back, which is already awesome for him. Main gold on the side could get attacked, but it's not too bad. The main stone though forward and the second stone a little bit on the side, but forward outside, which means a potential trash, which is probably not going to happen. Knowing Skogo, he won't go for trash this game, but it could be dangerous. And again, two golds in the back, you can afford to buy stone if you really need it. And then it would be fine here. Uh, one boar inside, second boar inside with four deer, as you can see, are outside. We have one really close close to chance low space and that's pretty much it. This one between the two players and the other three closer to Skogo. Let's see how this map is looking like. We have a main stone on the side forwardish here. Uh, second gold safe in the back. Main gold safe in the back. Map even better than for chance low here. A uh, little bit of space here. Yeah, not too much, but it's not bad. Then we have four deer outside and Skogo is using the sheep to keep the gate open. Second bull coming in soon. We have the third gold outside and that second stone is forward towards chance low space. The space is also outside. Uh, and then we have one really close to his base, uh, next to that little mm, patch of wood. One really, really close, and this one, yeah, should have been in a neutral zone, I guess, but it's definitely closer to Skogo. As far as I can see, no real back bases. That also means no extra resources. You don't have the two extra golds and the one extra stone that you sometimes, or most of the times, get on these maps. So players have to use what they get um, with the relics and with their own golds, or maybe... Uh, they could uh, try to steal someone else's gold. Not sure how to play this with the Khmer here. The Slavs with a better boom should be strong. They have good help. But yes, of course, the champions are really strong. And uh, then we have a lot of siege possibilities for the Slavs. As for the Khmer, I don't know. Battle defense is an option. They have obviously strong heavy scorpions. And uh, I would love to see battles and scorpions in action. But that's rather difficult to get uh, running. And I'm not sure what Chancellor is actually planning to do here. We might see a stable in uh, late feudal age, mid to late feudal age, because uh, stable can't hurt to go against the Slavs to try and get some relics in. Turn slow, I'm not sure if he knows about the relics already. Did he go out for scouting? No, he can only see one of them. Uh, and usually you're seeing two next to your base. Let's see if he's going for the relics. Go is up first. Uh, we'll start to. Go scouting the map uh, after that last deer is getting lured in and he's sending the sheep back. So Skogo apparently with a good start as far as I can judge here. 27 population is going up to Castle Age 29, which is rather late, but I think he will go for that barracks. I uh, don't see a villager doing that yet. Main gold getting uh, mined now, the mining camp there, and that's the uh, barracks as expected. John Slow now on the way to Feudal Age. He will be able to click up to Castle Age immediately with the Khmer bonus. He doesn't need uh, any buildings to click up, so it's going to be 30 villagers, uh, no, 29 villagers, 30 pop. Fortune slow. Scouting his back base first, which is very important because you can see the second gold and soon he will be able to see the third gold as well. I hope at least. Uh, not the fastest scouting ever, losing a little bit of time, it's not a big problem. But I think he will go for everything and there it is. There is the other gold. Very nice to have. Uh, Skogo is now moving out with the scout. He realizing, yeah, I'm up to field age first. I'm stable coming up and probably a blacksmith somewhere. I don't see it. Where is it? Somewhere in the back maybe? Or am I missing it completely. No, there it is. And both players are on the way to cast Lich. Let's go, go a little bit faster, but uh, one villager behind. So uh, technically, John Slow is ahead here. We have the first scout coming in. Skogo now knows about most of the map. John Slow also going out to the, uh, get some scouting information. And John Slow went with the stable as expected, doing his own scout. So we're going to see a little bit of cast Lich action. We have eight farms already up for Skogo. Is that correct? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, which is a lot here. He's still taking that tree other than. Uh, Otherwise, he would have put a farm here maybe later on. And he should have enough for a monastery and one extra TC. But we are going, uh, I expect to see uh, the uh, light calf upgrade, to be honest. And Skogo is doing for, uh, going for Boso. Doesn't have the food to go for light calf. He needs 150, I think. And there it is. He could click it now, but maybe he wants to go for uh, village production first. Chen Slow is actually doing the light calf upgrade. He cannot go for a spearman because he doesn't have a barracks. So he's going for a monastery. TC on the main gold. And yeah, I guess he could put a piece of wall here, maybe open this to get a 
few farms around. Light curve completed. Translow wants to go for those relics and Monastery is up first month on the way. We're going to see that second uh, TC and a third TC actually with a few farms already coming up. So the TC mini boom I think was housed for a split second here or for a little bit longer. Second TC on the wood line, third TC is, uh, that's the second already up, third coming up on the wood line and the gold. And as you can see five light curve is done. I missed that. Uh, guarding a monk to go back and bring that relic home. Translow should be able to get this relic without any problems and I'm guessing he can see more relics now. He can see one really close to Skogo, that one he should not try to go for. I think this is a good one and then he will possibly try to go for the one that Skogo is right now trying to guard. Uh, next uh, the monk coming back to get the next relic in and we have three TCs for both players so it's gonna be a little bit of a mini boom game with some minor fights for now. John Law has the second monk already, first one coming up with the relic. And then I think Skogo will definitely have uh, the advantage here because he's sending the monk already. No chance for John Law to get more than two relics here. He's got the two, now they're going to continue to go for a boom, go for the best boom possible. And I think we might see a forward siege, wor siege workshop for some of the players, uh, some of them now, one of them. And with eight light calf, I think John Law needs uh, to do something. He invested a lot of food here, that's uh, almost 500. Food, no, wait, wait, it's 600 and more plus the light calf that's 800 food invested into light calf that's a lot and usually I'd expect Chancellor to go with the siege workshop soon I'm uh, going to find out yes uh, rebuilding that lumber camp which is good market uh, coming up he didn't have a market makes sense I guess uh, going up with the Khmer here and looks like both players neck and neck 60 villagers we were coming in Skogo doing the gold mining upgrade very important uh, economy upgrade that uh, sometimes is uh, Yet, I don't know how to call this, but it's maybe underrated, maybe underused, something like that. A little bit of a light care fight, potentially. Three monks here. Chancellor needs to go back. He knows it will have to go back. Siege workshop coming up for us. Gogo now inside his own base. Chancellor is not moving out, which is interesting to me. That's the plan for him here. Mining camp coming up on the main stone. Wants to go for a castle eventually, which uh, is expected. You want to get conscription and possibly some unique text in. Imperial Age click coming up from Chun Slow already. Quite early. Skogo doing hand card first. Yeah, Chun Slow doesn't really like the hand card upgrade, I feel. I think he should have done it uh, earlier, but uh, that's okay. That's why going up to Imperial Age, I think that isn't late. That's, uh, everything is alright. University possibly for chemistry coming up. And then we might see Arbalest here for the Khmer. I think we get that. And it's uh, the Archangel is coming up already. Not sure about the hand cannoneers against possibly champions, but there will be uh, siege units for Skogo, I expect at least. Skogo clicked up to Imperial Age as well. And you do see a lot of light cap from Skogo. That's 13. Did he convert one maybe? But that's at least 12 light cap that he created from that stable. Bloodline's coming up, and we might even see some Knights Cavalier for the Slavs here. It's possible you're getting upgrades for them now. Skill Burning Hour has been re Bloodlines. And Chen Slow should um, be suspicious because he can see ADHB, can see the plus one defense. So maybe he needs to go for Pikeman here. We have the Imperial Age uh, done for Chen Slow, and I think he's waiting for the chemistry to go for Hand Cannon. Yes, Archer Engine number four on the way. A lot of villagers on gold. He's got a lot of resources in the bank, but he's going to spend them as soon as chemistry is coming up. And then I guess we might see Bombard Cannons. I'm not sure about the Bombard Cannons here for Chen Slow, but I think he gets them, and that's correct. He has only missing the Siege Orange, actually. Siege Ram might be an option later on if the game's going long. And uh, Skogo in the meantime, gold shaft mining coming up. He's going for the barracks and a second stable as well. So three barracks, two stables. Not sure. Are we going to see Hazars here only and then standard infantry? Chain biting arm on the way. Imperial Age done. No castle yet. He's got enough stone for it, but he doesn't have a castle up and not going to build one anytime soon. Market only now coming up from Skogo. That means he usually had a nice economy balance. Skogo going for Onager, which is interesting. Maybe did he spot the Archer Ranges? Um, maybe this one. If he uh, could see that Archer Range, then it makes sense to go for Onage as he knows. Ranged units, that's not going to be a problem to beat uh, when you have the Onages on the field. Bombard Cannon production starting for Chen Slow, a little bit low on wood, but it's not a problem. And Hand Cannon production starting as well. He's got enough stone for a castle. Now he can put one up and I think he should do it right in front of his main stone or maybe next hit to uh, guard it as long as possible. We have a little bit of a slow game here. Both players are still transitioning to Imperial Age, uh, preparing their armies. Nice little wall of I like this one to be honest because it uh, really secures the wood line, makes sure that 
that uh, there's not going to be a surprise overchop that Chancellor can go in. Hussar upgrade on the way, and the castle is coming up forward even. With the light cap on the side. There's the light cap from uh, Skogo moving in, and he wants to take this fight before the Hussar upgrade is completed, which is a mistake in my opinion. I think he should have waited for a little bit. But now Hussar upgrade is there, and just open the walls, go out. He's not going to do that. Instead, he probably wants to go with his own castle. Yeah, it's up in front of that main stone, I think, guarding the third gold as well. A few more stables on the way, and Cavalier coming up, which makes a lot of sense against the Hand Cannoneers even. Chunslo not going for the barracks, not going for pikemen or anything, which is interesting. I think he should go for that counter unit already, because he could see Hussar upgrade done. There is more and more cavalry units coming up on the field, and why wouldn't you go for the counter units? So Skogo is trying to go for cavalry here with the Slavs, maybe the um, champion transition later on. But for now, there's a lot of Hand Cannoneers, and you don't want to go stand infantry here. Three Bomber Cannons hitting the walls, so it's Gogo space is open, which isn't a big problem here. Cavalier done, and Cavalier production is starting out of the few stables he has. Actually, four of them already. Cavalier moving forward. I think he shouldn't move them too far forward. Chancellor should have seen them, and that means he can uh, start to go for a counter unit. That's a barracks coming up, yes. Uh, while Siege on the way for a Skogo, Chancellor should go for the Pikeman upgrade immediately. There it is, and possibly with a few uh, Blacksmith upgrades as well. A few gates coming up. Oh, I like this. This is a very nice wall of Hasaras moving forward, but no, not going to happen. Actually, this gate is not getting built yet. Uh, there it is. Translow realizing, okay, this is still open. It's too dangerous for me. And now that might be a good time for Skogo to transition into the standard infantry long swordsman on the way. Yes. He realizing, okay, I'm mm, yet yeah, debating Translow into going pikemen, so I can go for champions later on, but for now there's a lot of hand cannoneers, and that means it's going to be a tough fight for Skogo here. Siege ram done. Very important upgrade. More barracks on the way, castle coming up to guard a third goal. I don't like this mining camp, I was going to replace it, but okay, it's all right. And He's still taking the main gold and that second gold inside his base. Yeah. John Slow not daring to go forward. Uh, he's got the military advantage here when it comes to the numbers, but those hand cannoneers, once they're getting surrounded, they can fall really fast. There's the Halberdier coming forward, and once Halberdiers and hand cannoneers are standing together, I think John Slow might be able to move. Uh, not going for trebuchets, instead, only staying on the bombard cannons. There's three sea trams moving forward, but now you need the Halberdiers. Garrison him and drop them out of the castle. That would be a really, really good move. Instead, he's uh, trying to put all through that gate, which is a mistake. Please Big fight happening, Skogo going with the Cavalier and Hussars, but he's realizing I don't have a good fighting position, I'm going back. And he took the castle down, that was his first goal here, and I think the main goal for now, so he's got better chances to take a good fight. Champion upgrade coming in for Skogo, and slow finishing the upgrades on the help. Diaz uh, actually is missing in def defense upgrades, and I think he should get at least plus two. I'm not sure about the plus uh, th three, plus four. Hussar is moving around, and Chunslow finally deciding, okay, let's see what my opponent is doing. I'm going forward, I have more military on its population capped uh, almost for both players, and the Cavalier are trying to get a fighting position, but no, there's always help this around, this uh, Bombard Cannons now moving in, but there is the Hussars, and I think the Bombard Cannons might fall, Hand Cannoneers uh, have very high damage output, and Skogo is not daring to go for the big fight, Champions moving in from the left, the uh, Cavalier running away from the helps, and the Hussars finally fighting, I think the Bombard Cannons going down, but a lot of Hussars are falling, Siege Engineers coming in from Skogo as well, two, uh, two or three trebuchets, maybe to try and hit those Hand Cannoneers, that's possible, Siege Engineers moving forward, but Skogo didn't take a good fight here. Should have uh, followed all his army. Like this, the hand cannons are still strong and ooh, beautiful volley. No onagers on the field for Skogo. A little bit surprised to me because he went for that upgrade but not for using them. And he does have the resources to go for those. And like this, the hand cannons are just so strong. Siege rams only on the field. But they are going down to the Helders, and the Henkinias are feeling happy for now. Monks going down, there's only two of them, and the Henkinias, I think, need to go back. But they are taking down the chasing units, and John Slow, 54 military units, 59 against only 22. He's got a big advantage there. Skogo, probably more uh, villages, yes, 125 to 108. He should have the better economy, but uh, John Slow still uh, with the attack going for himself. Now there's Onages on the field, and that means danger for those Henkinias. And again, John Slow microing and getting all those on just down pretty fast here. Uh, champions will die fast, really fast. Ooh, and John Slow, I think, just lost the castle here. No, maybe it was a siege workshop. Uh, it was going down immediately. I'm not sure if it was a castle, if it was, and that would be tough. 
Lazarus still in the field, at least a few of them. And Skogo maybe trying to save up his gold already, use it for champions or for siege later on. You can see here the siege workshops coming up on it, just moving towards the battlefield. And Chancellor is sending in more and more hand cannons and help. Yes, help is still going strong. Uh, no more siege units for now. Does Terra want to transition? I don't think so. I think you can't afford to go for battle defense or anything. Just too expensive. Maybe add in some more trash units and I would love to see uh, the heavy scorpions now. Chancellor has the resources to do it, he's got the uh, civilization to do it, so why not? Have some siege units behind it. Bombard cannons is, they are good, but uh, you don't want to lose them, they're just so valuable and if you're losing a big fight you're losing a lot of gold at the same time. With heavy scorpions you can do a lot of damage, not against buildings but against everything else and now Chancellor is going for that castle to guard the stone. I think he's got a very beautiful fighting position, he's even moving into Skogo's base, Skogo not able to to get a significant military number up and not enough Onagers on the field to really do the damage. He could go for Heavy Scorpions too, would love to see it instead Siege Onager on the way. I didn't see but it's um, popping up for me now and maybe you saw it before. Siege Onager coming up, Siege Onager could actually turn the game. Then Heavy Scorpions wouldn't make any sense at all and those Siege Onagers can do so much damage to uh, those foot soldiers. Uh, they are uh, not a horse or anything. Uh, the Bomber Cannons might be decent against Siege Onagers. I think it even you need two uh, shots to take one Siege Onager down if I remember correctly. Hellary is of course trying to attack and take one of those siege engines down, that's uh, happened, but uh, Skoko should be fine for now. He's moving to the outside, putting a few stables on the open field, he wants to go a little forward probably. And Chun Slow is close to overdropping, need to keep an eye on that. Then we have Skogo without trebuchets, he has two castles. Like a trap from here, from the wood line to attack the castle would be really good. There's one trebuchet now and there's only a few champions against still more military units from Chun Slow, but Siege Orange shots happening and those hand cannons need to be really careful uh, because their life is endangered. How many is moving forward, that bomber cannon will go down before it takes a good shot or another good shot on the traps. Actually one trap going down, the last shot from that bombard cannon that I didn't see and Chun Slow is trying to keep his castle repaired, more uh, uh, bombard cannons next to the castle but there is the Hussars moving in and Chun Slow now with only uh, 33 military units but uh, Skogo is on 9, 13, 14 now, pretty much nothing, he doesn't have food left, champion of action is still going, but uh, only single honor chest, no real mass of units and 121 villages, we should be able to get for, uh, go for more military units. KD, uh, almost the same, so that's not really the big point here, and Translo is still using the Halberdiers, I think he's taking the better fights maybe, he is able to counter those, uh, to take down those siege units with the Halberdiers, counter the Hussars, and the champion still falling to those uh, hand cannoneers, Skogo somehow doesn't find a way to really uh, go for a good fight and I think Heavy Scorpions might have been a good option for him but now he is probably low on gold, ooh that's tough and he needs, I think he needs the Elite Skirmishes which are probably not the best for the Slavs but it can't hurt now a few Hussars trying to go for some raiding, there's stables coming up, there's sea trams uh, attacking the walls and that is so important. This is also open but Skogo doesn't see it, he hasn't scouted this uh, part of the map and Chun Slow apparently doesn't even realize that he's getting attacked, he's sending all the, uh, the units forward trying to take down Need another siege on it. Ooh, that's a dangerous shot. The castle is still getting repaired. Chancellor is able to hold on to this, but the hussars are moving in. And now Chancellor realizing, okay, I have an opening here, and of course the walls are down, and the uh, archer range is going down fast to the sea trams and Hassar starting to raid. This might be the turning point for this game. If so, this go can do enough damage in the economy, he should be able to distract Chun Slow and maybe finally get that castle down. So uh, for now he's sending another two trebuchets, one siege on a few Hussars, few champions here. Needs to group his army. Chun Slow in the meantime is saying, okay, I have my own trebuchets, I can go for your castles and looks like he still didn't send any halberdiers to uh, uh, take care of those Hussars. He's losing more and more of those villagers, which is something you should never allow to happen. But Chun Slow I think didn't realize this that there's still Hazard, so maybe it's just busy at the front. And Skogo is slowly taking over military units, way better for uh, Chun Slow, but uh, no more villagers at 77, 76, and uh, 30 are idle. He's losing more on the, on the woodlines. Finally, he's realizing okay, there is more raiding going on. I need to secure my economy. Now uh, we have Chun Slow, ooh, calling the Chi Chi. I thought he would continue to fight. He's still at 59 military units, but I think it was a psychological thing. He's losing the trebuchets now. He he would lose the last of the hand cannoneers. I guess he couldn't repair that uh, castle for too long. No more stone uh, in the
the bank. And while he still had the military advantage, the economy was way better for Skogo at this point in the game. Successful raiding. Hope you enjoyed this game. Interesting one, Shinzo. So, um, put up a really good, really good fight. But in the end, a surprise or um, yeah, late raiding coming up with the uh, sea trams on the walls and the Hussars raiding the wood lines. That was too much for Chen Slow. Here is resigning here. Hope you enjoyed this game. See you in the next one. Chi Chi.